Welcome to Somerset Weekly Wrap-Up for the week of May 31st to June 6th. At Somerset Berkeley Regional High School last Friday, 231 students graduated. The students in the class of 2024 entered the high school when the COVID-19 pandemic was starting and took a lot of classes from home on their computers before going back to school with masks and socially distancing. Valedictorian Ryan Rose, salutatorian Marissa Medeiros, and class president Jack Fredette made speeches at the graduation ceremony. In her speech, Medeiros talked about how students and teachers overcame the adversity of the pandemic and how the students went on to have a thrilling high school experience. Students at Somerset Berkeley Regional High School displayed the projects they did in their civics classes on Tuesday in the cafeteria of the school. Projects that focused on making veterans aware of benefits they are eligible for, that want to prevent books from being banned, and that were creating boxes of food and clothes for people who are struggling to afford those things were some of the many projects displayed. Those three projects were also chosen to be shown at the State Civic Showcase at Bridgewater State University. The town is asking residents to fill out a digital equity survey. After viewing the responses to the questions, recommendations will be made. Richard Pierce, a member of the Economic Development Committee and town's representative to the Southeastern Regional Planning and Economic Development District, said that the focus of the study that is being done is on quality of service and making sure that people like senior citizens and veterans have access to digital services. There are surveys available online as well as physical surveys available at the library, town office building, and council on aging that people can fill out. Girl Scouts from Troop 882 of Somerset collected a lot of pet supplies during the past month and delivered them to the Swansea Animal Shelter on Monday. The supplies include dog and cat food, pet treats, cat litter, blankets, cleaning supplies, and other items. Fisher Bus Company donated a trolley to bring the Girl Scouts and the supplies to the Ernest W. Bell Animal Shelter in Swansea. In sports, the Somerset Berkeley Regional High School softball team beat Reading 15-5 on Tuesday to advance to the final eight teams in the Division II state tournament. For the Blue Raiders, Tatum Swanson was 4-5 for five at the plate with two runs batted in and two runs scored. Emma Javia was 3-4 for four with a double, two RBI, and a run scored. Julia Costa was 2-3 for three with a walk, sacrifice fly, three RBI, and two runs scored. Brooke Crombie was two for three with a walk, three RBI, and a run scored. Mackenzie Jacob was two for four with a double, an RBI, and three runs scored. Victoria DiMatteo was two for five with two RBI and a run scored. Sydney Bednars was two for five with two runs scored. Lillian Brisson was one for three with a walk, an RBI, and two runs scored. And Samantha Como was one for four with a run scored. At the annual sports awards ceremony on Wednesday at Somerset Berkeley Regional High School, Cam Rose and Lily Gentile received the awards for being the best athletes in the senior class. Rose played soccer and competed in indoor and outdoor track and field, while Gentile played soccer and basketball and competed in outdoor track and field. Thank you for watching Somerset Weekly Wrap-Up. Tune in next week for more news from around Somerset.